the snap. He's going to run it himself. He's going to be hit and stopped. Right nice. backwards. Josh Bloom got him first. It's a loss of three. And snap back to Sams. He's going to throw it. Drop straight back. Pressure coming from behind. And he's going to go down. Back at the 45-yard line. And it was Rashad Wembley who brought Sams down. Snap back to Seeley. Rolls right. Plants his feet. Now he's going to run it. Seeley at the 45. He's got some running room. 50. 45 gets to the near sideline. 40. Seeley stops and leans forward to the 30-yard line. And Seeley. Seeley in the shotgun. Takes the step. Drops back. He's got time to throw. Fires it right side. The pass is caught by Whitley on the far sideline inside the 15. He takes the snap, and he's going to hand off running left. Ross cuts it back upfield, and he's got about six. Ball in the ground, recovered by ACU. All right. And it's Junior Henderson with the takeaway. Just the third fumble recovery of the season, and the Cats have it back. Second and ten, takes the snap. ACU blitzes with Gates, and here's Bloom, who's going to tackle him around the top of the jersey. I was worried about a, a horse collar. Instead, it's a sack for Bloom. Snap back to Sams. He's going to throw it. Pressure coming up the middle. And he throws it deep down the far sideline. It is Dumbler interception at the 50-yard line. Coming the other way. 40. Dumbler to the 35-yard line. Far sideline. 30. 25-20. Dumbler takes it inside the 20. But Dumbler did it again. One second. It's a pitch. And I think we're going to have a throw. Dabba to Seeley's wide open. Catches at the 10. Who goes into the end zone? Touchdown. Herschel Sims to Dallas Seeley. Touchdown and a lead for ACU. <laughs> ACU shows glitch with Gates. Here, Here comes. comes Gates from the left side. Sams, they pick it up. Now the pressure coming. He's going to get him dragged down in the middle of the field after a gain of only a and half yard. Gates. They've got to use. Takes the snap and he's going to throw it. Looking over the middle. Pass is. Caught by Cedric Gilbert on the in route to the 50 to the 45, 40. Gilbert out to the race is 30. 25 and out of bounds, Cedric Gilbert. A big play. There we go. Takes the snap, drops straight back, pressure coming. He pulls the ball down, now rolls to his left. LaMarcus Allen giving chase. Sam squares his body, fires it deep downfield, and the pass is intercepted by Lynn Grady. Grady with the interception off the pressure from Bryson Gates. And it's a first and 10 for ACU. Snap back to him. He's going to throw it. Well, Sam's pressure coming up the middle. Flushed out of the pocket. He's going to be sacked. Down. Back at the 35. Bales in the ground. Oh, he's recovered. We've recovered again. And it's sin. Oh, it's Josh Bloom. Takes the snap. It's a handoff. They go flea flicker. Sam's is going to throw it deep. Downfield. And it is put out by Butler. At the 35-yard line, 40, 45, 50, 45, Butler, far sideline, 35 and out of bounds. What about that Wildcat defense? The fifth turnover of the day. Takes the snap and drops straight back. He's got time to throw. Fires it deep downfield. He's got a man wide open. Set with Gilbert at the 40, the 35 to the 30, to the 25-yard line. Don't spike it, go. said. Don't spike it. No, he won't. He's not going to do it. What a throw from Dallas Seeley to Cedric Gilbert on the staff he's got it drops straight back throws it deep into the end zone going for Whitley it is touchdown touchdown Cole Whitley touchdown he's got it drops back pressure coming up the middle he is going to get out of it rolls to his left no, he got him Denmark sacked him back at the 26 now the ACU call a timeout timeout ACU 221 to go Sammy Denmark it's a final score from Shotwell. McNeese State, the number seven ranked team in the nation, and 7-0 goes to 8-0. They hold on to beat AC 15-13.